Hello, so this is going to be a really quick tutorial. Uh, today what I'm going to be showing you is how to of course, sort of cap the end of a polygon off. The actual tool is called Make Pole. So let's say that um, we've got a shape here, this is a disc, a default uh, disc, it's one meter by one meter, but we don't want this end here, we don't want this flat surface. Let's say that we're making a snake. So go to polygon mode and then we select the top of this here. In order to turn this into a single point, which is the way that a snake's tail looks, uh, go to multiply, go to subdivide and more, then go down to more again and then go across to make pole. And what we'll get is a whole bunch of polygons here that cap off the end. So now what we need to do is because we've got this point selected already in point mode, uh, T on the keyboard and then hold ALT down and then press the up arrow key. Alternatively you can press the down arrow key and this moves it up and down depending on the window. Be really careful with this tool because obviously if you if your mouse, it, it's window correspondent so if your mouse is in the top left and that's uh, activated to the top view, if you then press ALT and up it's going to move the point literally sideways across the top of the object. So let's move it up a bit more now let's deselect the uh, the tool by pressing the T on the keyboard to get out of the move um, tool and then let's uh, smooth this out. So all we need to do is press tab on the keyboard. This comes up, this is okay because this is just a tutorial, or just a test. And there we go, we can see that the end of this snake is it's got a really fat tail but I don't know why. Actually, you know what, let's make this into a blimp. So let's, A on the keyboard gets it in view, so that's how you get it in view properly. Uh, y on the keyboard for the rotate tool, then we rotate it around. Make sure the gray line is corresponding to the black line of the center just here. So I'm in the right window as you can see. And let's make, let's make this into a blimp. So the way that we can copy this end to this side is we go to mirror uh, Z. So here you can see the axis it's running along is the Z just here, to so the very end of the right window. Mirror Z, and boom, we've got a blimp. Now, unfortunately, this isn't actually connected. There's a there's a there's a problem here. These polygons aren't um, connected. That might we might be able to rectify that by unsmoothing it though. Yeah, so we can rectify that by unsmoothing and then probably connecting up there. Anyway, that's how to um, make a pole of the end of a polygon. So now that's ready for UV texturing, which means that you can unwrap this, obviously. And, oh, that's still selected. So you can unwrap that, this end, or this whole thing, and get down to UV texturing without like shrinking it down or doing whatever. You can actually cap the end of the polygon off. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.